Hi all. In my last inbox review, I did a 170 second scale BF109 E1 from RPM, and I did say that I would do one of their armor kits that I had. And so here it is, the 170 second scale TKD 47 mm self-propelled gun. Okay, uh, a Polish tankette. They had several of, of these with different weapons and, and different configurations used during the Polish campaign, early World War II. Um, on the side of the box you get another picture, the same as the front, um, where it was made, various bits of information. On this side, however, you get examples of other things that RPM produce, little bits of armour and guns, and on the back, that really is the painting guide. Um, with the colours across the bottom, and it shows you handy, handily the decal sheet that's inside. Um, it is 170 second scale and it is a very tiny kit. The box isn't so small though. Um, Aaron Newland recently did a, a review and his son Kieran said that it's important to do reviews so that people don't know, don't think they've got uh, just an empty box. And actually I think you might um, be right, there's very little in here by the feel of it. Um, side opening box. So that's the um, that's the box. Let's see what's inside. Well inside what you get is this. There's actually not that much. Small instru instruction leaflet and one bag with two sprues and one set of decals. Now the instructions are on a, an A5 folded sheet, here we go, in Polish, but you get a nice uh, sprue map, giving you numbers for the parts on the front page, we turn it over, and here are the not too clear instructions actually. Okay, it's, it's got shaded parts uh, for the, the parts you're adding onto something already, but um, for me, one goes to two then to three and then turn to four. As long as you follow the numbers you should be okay. Um, and it is a fairly simple kit. So six, seven, eight, down to nine, and then strangely down there to ten. And across. So it's not in any really logical order. There's the gun being pieced together. So, yeah, the instructions are there, but it's not the clearest in the world. Okay. And there's 21 stages in all. And on the back, hey ho, that's what it should look like. Yeah, and a copy, a black and white copy of what was on the back of the box. Here is uh, the colour scheme and the decal sheet. Okay, sprue one, which is the main sprue. Um, there is. A bit of flash, to be honest, on the parts. Um, example of the detail is the engine. Not the most detailed thing in the world, but it is only 170 second scale. Um, you can see this is a hull, and that's my finger. If that's a hull, it's you can tell it's a very, very small machine. Um, so some very small parts might be a bit fiddly. Uh, the running gear, I don't know exactly how this is going to work, but the running gear here will fit, I'm guessing, inside those tracks and we take these out. So that's all moulded, the tracks are moulded. Turn it over, see more detail on the um, on the engine, the floor of the hull, I think that's the upper hull, and the gun. So there's a not the most detailed kit in the world, but that said, it is only in 172nd. It is a very, very small kit. That's sprue one. Sprue two has, I believe, oh, the, the actual 47 mm gun. Which is slightly bigger, but you can see the flash all around. Now this kit, I believe, from looking online, was tooled in the 90s. Um, 
and there are many many different variations of it this I believe is just the basic tankette here um, and depending on what you have in the hull what weapon system it has you get I believe in the box just a different sprue so this one will be the sprue you get if you get what I have the TKD there's a TKS and TK3 one is covered over one's an anti-tank version that sort of thing so this is the optional uh, sprue and the other one is the uh, the standard sprue for the vehicle on the decals they are quite glossy and you can probably see there's quite a lot of carrier film in fact on some of the smaller items there's more carrier film than there is decal and um, you can see it's for the TK3 or TKS tankette or the TKD these are unit markings there's no real um, information in the kit telling you which ones you to use online though you can get information and it tells you you know which squadron they're in was it the, the the lead of the squadron is it a different you know just a squadron a tank in the squadron different units so a little bit of online research is required to, to get it accurate there you go it's a very simple kit very small kit uh, retails about ten pounds I think it was which is quite a lot for a small kit but once again my usual thing it's a rarer subject so I don't mind paying ten pounds for such a small kit um, even though the detail isn't isn't the best and uh, there is a bit of flash so um, I hope that's been helpful for anyone considering you know, an RPM kit or or this one in particular or any of their smaller armor kits you can get I believe this exact same kit between 135th scale which might be a, a little easier to build with the size um, but I've not looked at that one so there you go uh, an inbox review looking what is in the box of the RPM TKD 47 millimeter self-propelled gun in 170 second scale okay thanks for watching bye <laughs>